It is time to clean the keg. So we're cleaning the keg today. Now, empty the keg out all together. I'm, I'm holding the camera here, so the, it's actually been a while now since I bottled out that uh, wooden barrel keg. So what it's been doing is soaking in, it's called Barrel Clean, B-A-R-O-L-K-L-E-E-N. Uh, what this is, it says it contains sodium sesquicarbonate, S-E-S-Q sesquicarbonate, Nate. Soda ash and lye. It goes one. Now you can buy this stuff. This comes from the LD Carlson Company. Um, it says to mix one pound of of this. One pound. One pound of this per five gallons of water. So actually, I did two pounds and ten gallons is what's in that barrel because it's a ten gallon, basically a ten gallon barrel. Um, swooshed it around and I let it set. Now it says on here to let soak for three days. It's been over a week. I just haven't had time to get back to it again. So after that it says drain and flush three times with water. Rinse with a solution of two ounces of sodium sulfite one ounce of citric acid and two gallons of water. Final rinse is water only. Here is the sodium sulfite, but it actually comes LT, LD Carlson. It says sodium metabisulfite, which uh, from what I was told is the same thing. So it says on this one here, to kill wild yeast add a quarter teaspoon per six gallons of must to sanitize add two ounces to one gallon of water so and here's the citric acid so we're gonna go get at it a while gotta dump this keg out and see what it looks like as it dumps out yeah that was not an easy task whatsoever because that is a heavy freaking barrel when it's full of water. So, as I was saying, this guy's been soaking for a week and a couple days actually in the, uh, what is it, uh, and well, in the barrel clean. It's been soaking in the barrel clean. So, time to dump it out. Phew, stinks. Uh, I am making a mel of a hess here. Well, the only way to do this is was a little better. I was able to just kind of do it off the front because when I tried to just kind of tilt it off of the edge of the dryer here into the sink, well it just ran down the side of the barrel. Didn't want that. So doing it in that manner actually worked out pretty good. So what I want to do next is What I'm going to do next is, is just run some water, you know, do another rinse of just water through it, and then we'll mix up the next the next solution to put in the barrel. Whew. 
This is just a water rinse. No, no cleaners or anything in with it. Just to kind of swoosh around some more. Uh, it doesn't really say to do it on the label, but can't imagine it's going to hurt. Figure I'd dump this in here to anything that got loosened up and from the barrel clean. Hopefully this will get rid of it. Measured out one one ounce of citric acid, and this is two ounces of uh, sodium metabasulfite. Um, so this will go to the these. This whole thing goes in here. So I'll just go ahead and open it, and I'm going to use my pitcher. So that kills that. Fill it up with water. This pitcher is about a half gallon when it's full. So there's a half gallon. Let's push this up real good. that guy in there and in goes the citrus citrus acid okay so that's one gallon wow you can smell it going something one more in there for safekeeping. There. Alrighty. Flip that there. There. I've kept the old the old wooden bung. That's been a good swirling. Uh, oh. I want that stuff to be good mixed up. And over everything. Uh, yeah. Whew. All right. And out goes that. That's the citric acid that I'm smelling. Do a final rinse with water. I'm going to do a couple rinses with water. <laughs> uh, 
I don't know what all I just breathed in, but that mixture was pretty strong. All right, so uh, this is the whiskey that I took out of this barrel, plus some that I put in it over time. So it's going to be uh, uh, ah, there we go. So. And it goes again. And there goes that bottle. And this guy. Now what I'm going to do is uh, whoa, that's not what I wanted to do. Didn't really want to spill the whiskey all over the top of it, but that happens, I guess. Sanitizer. Always keep some handy there. In goes the bone. There it is. Yeah. So the barrel's all cleaned up. Sitting there, it's got whiskey back in it. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy another gallon of, of some sort of whiskey and throw in there again for uh, just to, to add to it. That's that. I didn't really see any videos out there on, on YouTube showing how to clean these whiskey barrels. So I'm hope that helped somebody, you know. Um, I'm, I'm pretty confident that I got her pretty clean. By the time I was done, there wasn't a whole lot more char coming out. I mean, there, the char is going to come out all the time. That ain't no big deal. But the water was coming out clean, and it is what it is. So it should have worked.